important update on Concord. <laughs> no way. Concord fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PS5 and PC. I want to thank everyone who has joined the journey aboy- aboard the North Star. Your support and the passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game in our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6th and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately, and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. If you purchased the game for PS5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. Method. Customers who purchased from other digital storefronts will also be refunded. More information about refunds from Steam and Epic can be found below. Uh, Steam Store will refund players who bought the game over the coming days. Steam will send a confirmation of the refund once it has been processed. Epic will refund players who bought the game over the coming days. Contact each customer directly to confirm the refund has been processed. Other retailer refunds. For customers who have purchased a physical copy at a retailer location outside of PlayStation directly, please refer to the refund process of the retailer you purchased it from to obtain your refund. Once refunded, players will no longer have access to the game. Oh my God. Yo, hey, I mean, I respect the crap out of this though. Okay? So... Let me let me just put the camera up here since this is where I normally address this kind of content. Uh, we're in the middle of playing games right now, but you know this is potentially going to get added into a uh, <clears throat> another uh, article that I'm kind of planning on putting on YouTube probably by tomorrow, um, as this is some new information that should go along with it. Um, good on PlayStation. Yeah. You're talking about a live service game that they were hyping up incredibly, right? This is a first party title for them. And they, um, these kinds of titles, these live service titles, absolutely critically hinge on there being a player base within to make it viable for players to have any kind of fun with right and this game never got off the ground not really right so um i will be probably adding this into my other video which is basically addressing uh maybe it'll be a a separate one i don't know but the other video is basically addressing why um there was an article that was like why do gamers want concord to fail that's just gaslighting that's ridiculous that's stupid <clears throat> if a game is doing well it's because the game was developed in a way that is enticing for gamers to play it if a game's not doing well there's something wrong with it and you shouldn't be looking at gamers or the consumer and pointing your finger at them there's something about the game itself that just wasn't done well enough to entice people to play it that's all there is to it, right? But it is not very often that you will see a company nowadays go ahead and bite the bullet, as it were, and say, we're sorry, we will refund you. And uh, I applaud PlayStation and Sony for doing this. This is the way it should be. This is the way it should be, right? So, um, I don't necessarily think that Concord is all in all a terrible game. It's just not enough. It's not good enough to make it stand out in the pollution of what this genre is nowadays in gaming. Obviously, right? Or else it would have done better. So, I mean, you might be able to chalk it up to a bad release time as far as other games being out that people wanted to play more. There's probably a mix of different reasons as to why it didn't ultimately do very well. But when it gets down to brass tacks, there wasn't anything special about this game. Let's let's be real fair here, okay? And good on PlayStation. Commendable. Absolutely. That's awesome. So, 
to all the people that wanted this to be good, I'm sorry for you. It never looked like anything great to me. Soup, thank you for bringing this to our attention right now. Awesome. Um, and shout out to PlayStation. Good on them. This is this is what good companies do. Okay, this is what good companies should be doing. It doesn't mean they don't make mistakes too, because we've seen PlayStation make some mistakes. Right? <laughs> Obviously, but this at least shows they care to some extent. So, good on them, dude. Awesome.